meteorologist Mark Molnar with special winter weather coverage here at Weather Northeastern. Let's get right into precipitation amounts. Not much out west with the ridge, but back east here, you'll notice two precipitation propagations here up the east coast and across the Ohio Valley. This is the tale of two potential winter storms. Let's take a look at the east coast scenario setting up for this first nor'easter here. We got this basically this big trough here across the east coast and this is going to be ejecting that low pressure pretty quickly up the coast here. We don't have a blocking high to make the system slow down and not a tremendous amount of cold air, but enough cold air to especially produce snowfall, at least 50 to 75, maybe 100 to 150 miles inland. Let's take a look at those snowfall accumulations. As you look, your attention is really drawn here to portions of southern New England and eastern New England, portions of Worcester just around Boston and especially the western suburbs of Boston, heading down towards Hartford, Providence, and over towards just north of New York City, northern New Jersey, all the way over towards portions of Harrisburg. This is where we could see a good solid six to eight inches of snow. And of course, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and northern Rhode Island could see upwards of eight to 12 inches with some isolated areas a foot or more likely, especially around that Worcester area of Massachusetts heading off towards just north of Providence, Rhode Island. So watch out for that. The big change in my snowfall map from 24 hours ago has been filling in of south central Pennsylvania and eastern Pennsylvania and northern New Jersey here with a solid six to eight inches of snow likely. So looking at a very healthy snowfall here and you've been waiting for it here across Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey and even the southern Hudson Valley of New York. This continues all the way up the coast towards southeast New Hampshire, down east Maine and up into New Brunswick as well where we could see totals of eight to 12 inches likely with this system. Now take a look at the model plots with this system. They've inched a little bit further towards the coast, especially the Euro, bringing this system ever so closer to the coastline, as you can see here on the map, uh, the American models basically coming more into line with the Euro as well. So that's what we've got going on here for the model plots across the east coast of the United States here. Now, what's that translate to? This basically means uh, that this system is a basically at this point more than a 90 percent certainty so it's underway across the mid-atlantic moving northward so let's get right into the potentials for another winter storm now this winter storm is not going to be as complicated or as strong as the first one but it will be pinwheeling across the eastern portion of the united states we got this trough in place it won't have any other systems to interact with but it will be very slow moving and it will move just south of a stalled out frontal boundary along the eastern portion of the United States, particularly from Pittsburgh over towards Harrisburg in Atlantic City and just south of Long Island. This stalled out boundary will be the focal point of a low pressure system riding along it. And this is where we could see snow developing, especially south of Interstate 80 in Pennsylvania and then over towards portions of New Jersey. Now here's my impact map level for your basically Sunday night through Monday night here. Basically, I have everybody south of Interstate 80 in Pennsylvania into the yellow, moderate category for potential. At least we're looking at two to four inches of snow, maybe potentially more, all the way down to Baltimore, DC, Philadelphia, Atlantic City, Newark, New Jersey, potentially New York City over towards Long Island in Southern New England. This will be one to watch. It's not gonna be a tremendous blockbuster, but it will put more snow on top of what you already had. So we'll start to really pile the snow up and get some of those areas that were snow deficit, going into a snow surplus here across the Northeast. So let's get right into those surface maps, explaining exactly what's going on with these systems into Saturday. We're riding that low pressure, the first nor'easter. I shouldn't say the first nor'easter because the second winter storm is not gonna be a nor'easter. It's gonna be more of an open wave type of system. But nevertheless, this is our first winter storm, especially in a while here. And as you can see right along the coastline into the orangish color, a little bit further inland as the system is expected to move a little bit closer further inland and then heavy snow totals further inland as well. Even places like Scranton originally was only supposed to get an inch or two. We'll probably end up with a good solid three, five, maybe six inches of snow out of this. Poughkeepsie looking at six inch plus and just around the Albany area as well, uh, around the two to four inch range. 
Binghamton, New York, we're, we could end up with about an inch or two out of this system as well. But as this system pulls to the northeast, it's the big story is Massachusetts, Connecticut, northern Rhode Island, and over towards down east Maine, and especially southeastern New Hampshire. This is where we could start to get into those approaching foot of snow levels here, basically. So, and of course, Right along the coast here, you'll get wraparound moisture as this system pulls off to the northeast, heading on into your Sunday. That system really blowing up into the Canadian Maritimes. But behind it, we got this cold flow, maybe even on some lake effect streamers setting up. But then we head on into your basically your Sunday here, moving off to the southwest here. This is where we start to see the signs of the next system, which Sunday night into Monday, the stationary front, this front stalls as a stationary front across the southern portion of our forecast area. And we start to see some overrunning as that low pressure rides along the Mason-Dixon line. And just north of it, and south of Interstate 80 in Pennsylvania, we start to get that snowfall developing, maybe two to as much as four inches, maybe locally higher amounts as we get closer to this event. And, uh, over towards southeastern New England and southern New England as well, New York City. Heading on into Tuesday, that system starts to pull away. We start to clear things out, but look how much colder it is heading on into your Tuesday. Much, much colder. That's the big story. Winter is here to stay a while, especially along the East Coast and the Northeast part of the United States and Southeast Canada. That's gonna do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern. I'm gonna have a five day outlook for my hometown viewers in the Susquehanna region of upstate New York and to Northeast Pennsylvania, Binghamton to Elmira areas. Don't forget to like me on Facebook and MediaMark, subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com, Twitter at WX Northeastern, Google Plus at MediaMark. Here's a five day outlook. Heading on, starting with Saturday here, snow in the morning, probably about one to two inches of accumulation. We're on the outer periphery of the storm, but nevertheless, we'll get a coating of snow likely, making it look winter-like. Heading on into your Sunday, look at this, and then on to Monday, where we could see some light snow showers will be on the northern side of that system, and then things get much colder after that. That's going to do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.